Okay, I'm gonna teach Storm how to send between me and the fence. So I'm just gonna send him off like I did on a lunging circle. Get him to go here, add a little extra pressure. There we go. I'm gonna yield his hindquarters. This is basically the same thing as lunging. We're just gonna do a half circle and I'm gonna start off uh, maybe six feet from the fence here and then I'm gonna slowly take a step uh, closer each time or as, as far as he feels comfortable then I'll take a step closer because I want to make sure he's not super claustrophobic. I want him to get over that by doing this exercise. This will help with trailer loading, just going around ob objects, sending over jumps, all kinds of things like that. And he loads really well. Um, I just wanted to get him a little bit more handy here. But again, I want to do the desensitizing just like I did with the lunging. Like, I'm going to send him and then I'm going to desensitize him and keep him balanced. So I want him to walk nice and calm through there like that and then yield his hind end. I'm going to slide my hand down, bend at my waist, and take a step right straight toward his hind end. Then I'll desensitize and I really want him to make a nice half circle and straighten up to me once I yield his hindquarters. I don't want him to blow past me and kind of just keep going. So I'll give him a minute and I'll send him the other way. So point, step toward his shoulder, swing toward his shoulder. And I'm gonna slide my hand down, bend at the waist, take a step. He got a little too close, so I'm gonna back him up here. Send him off the other way. He'll move his shoulders first for direction, and then his hind end's gonna be for speed once he gets going. So he's walking there through there really well. Bend down, step right there. He's still close again. So when they get too close like that, I'm gonna I'm not going to start with the lightest pressure, I'm just going to get after him and be like, get out of my space. Especially with him, he's 17 hands, he's a big, big guy, so I don't want to take any chances there. I do teach him to back up first with the light pressure and then increase it, but when he gets too close to me, I'm just going to have him back up however I can. Yeah, that was nice. I'm going to sensitize him. Wait for him to blink here. I gotta multitask here. I'm gonna keep tossing the rope in the same place with the same rhythm while trying to see if he's blinking yet. So I'll give him a moment, kind of move my rope around here so he's not anticipating. Then I wanna, when I actually ask him, I wanna slowly point my arm up, step toward his shoulder, and swing my rope. Very good. Bend the waist, slide my hand down, step, crosses over. He's still, he's sneaking in on the corners. This is really common. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna keep on going. Don't need to stop because. He thinks that he's just going to be lunging near the fence, but I want him to stop straight and look right at me. That was better. Keep his attention on me. Reward him for being good. I'm just going to wait till he blinks here because he's a little distracted. There he goes. I think that petting is really important when I... Anytime you're petting a horse, if he's distracted or pulling his head away, you want to keep petting until he brings his head back or his attention back to you and then stop. Just like anything else, pressure release. So I'm moving the rope here. He's thinking about, oh, I'm going to back up. I'm going to keep doing it until he back, until he stops backing up, then I'll stop doing it. And keep going in. There he stops, so I stop. Just like all the other just stuff. I don't want him to anticipate at all. His attention on me. There's a difference between looking around and purposely not wanting to pay attention to me. Like, it's fine if they look around a bit, but if he's always got his head turned, then he's just not paying attention. And I'll ask him gently the first time, and then I'll bump him back to me. Yeah, that was good that time. He made two decent turns. That was really good. Now, if you have a horse that really wants to rush through the turn, like between you and the fence, I do it over and over again until he slows down. And I'm going to do the opposite with a lazy horse. So he's going to be a little lazy and he's going to want to walk slow. So I'm going to have him trot a bit through the uh, gap and put a little bit more energy, like there was a bit more. But I want to keep him balanced. There, I'm going to switch directions really fast because his shoulders were kind of going out off away from the fence there. And I want to just balance him out. Better. He definitely yields better on this way. Give him a minute and then I'll send him the other way. I always want to give him a minute between asking him to do things so he doesn't start anticipating and 
So I didn't ask him to go here, so I just kind of bumped on him. Then I got pressure got uh, increased and increased until he stopped, then I released. And I'm sending him the opposite way that he was thinking about going. I always do the opposite. Yield him here. Good, that was better. So I go in there and desensitize him. So the other time he was wandering off, now I'm going to combat that by doing the opposite, desensitizing. I want him thinking, just relax and slow instead of go, go, go. Because he kind of gets that way. Like he'll lunge and then his mind will be going. So like lots of people have a problem. They'll start lunging their horses before they work. And if they don't lunge them to the point where they're tired, their horses are wound up now because they're thinking go, go, go. It will help you a lot if you lunge your horse and then desensitize him right after. And then before you get on, he's going to be a lot quieter because the last thing you did with him was desensitize so now he's, he's a little bit more up now. He's going to trot through there, but he's yielding well. I'll give him a minute. And so the other way. So another thing when he gets a little distracted and looks off, I'll have him do something. So then he's like, oh man, I didn't pay attention for a second. I had to do something. So he'll be more inclined to pay attention to me um, later on. And that was really good right then. I just want him, I just want his attention really. I want him to pay attention to me if he needs to go somewhere. I want him to pay attention if I'm going to desensitize him. And then I, I'm just gauging his reaction. He's, he's got to be thinking about the situation. Should I go? Like, is she asking me to go? Or is she asking me to stand still? So, I'm really having him assess the situation here. Again, I'm desensitizing him, he's anticipating, I'm going to keep moving, and then I'm going to bump my rope till he stops. And I'll release. And there's some horses playing in the background, so he's a little distracted. I'm just going to move my hands around, like this doesn't mean anything. I want him to, to really pay attention to that big cue I give him with my arm when I point up. That's the cue I want him to listen to. This, just moving around, this is just, he doesn't need to pay attention to that. And that's exactly what riding is. I want him to pay attention to my legs, and my hands, and my seat, but I don't want him to pay attention to other horses in the arena, things going on, scary things, the wind, whatever. So he's really got to be toned in to what he needs to be paying attention to, and everything else doesn't matter. I'm just gonna pat on him here. He got some dust on him, so I take that opportunity to sensitize him more. I'll just pat on him, smack the saddle, make some noise. Just get him nice and calm. My rope around, make sure he's not anticipating, make sure he's got his attention on me. Took a step forward, I didn't want that, so I'm gonna, I started with a little amount of pressure and then I increased it to tap him on the chest. But I had to go all that way. He wasn't listening to the first thing, but he's now he's thinking about it. He's licking his lips, so that's good. So now I kind of sensitized him there a bit. Now he's thinking about backing up, so I want to make sure I can move that rope without him anticipating anything. So I'm going to move it around. He's, not, he's backing up, so I'm going to keep going. Wait till he stops, and then I stop. Do the same thing. Now he's not going. Perfect. Try the other hand come forward since he was thinking backwards he's gonna do the opposite that was really good so I'm gonna finish off just desensitizing him here because he was anticipating a bit um, his last time through the between me and the fence was good so I'll just end him on that but again uh, I'll ride him after this so I'm just gonna end the lesson by desensitizing him and he should be calm for my ride